Hey everyone, my name is Royce, and I'm a first year MD-PhD student at the University of Pennsylvania. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what an MD-PhD is, and the reasons for getting one. So I guess I should start with what an MD and a PhD are separately. MD stands for Doctor of Medicine. An MD program in the United States typically takes four years. The first two years are your preclinical courses where you're a student taking classes full time. These typically begin with your foundational classes like biochemistry, genetics, and immunology. Then you move on to your more clinically relevant classes like cardiology, nephrology, and dermatology. Once you finish your first two years of medical courses, then you move on to your clinical rotations. Here you start actually practicing medicine. You'll do rotations in different medical specialties like internal medicine, radiology, and surgery. The clinical rotations let you survey a number of medical specialties so that by the time you apply for residency in your fourth year, you know exactly which specialty you want to go into. And that's medical school in a nutshell. Now let's talk about the PhD. PhD stands for Doctor of Philosophy. A PhD program in the United States typically takes six years to complete. Unlike with the MD, you can get your PhD in a specific field. For example, some of my MD-PhD friends here at Penn are getting their PhDs in neuroscience or anthropology or healthcare management through the Wharton School. So with the PhD, you can choose which kind of field you want to specialize in. The first year or so consists of you being a full-time student taking graduate level courses. After that, you have to pass your qualifying exam in order to advance to the next phase of your PhD. Then you become a full-time researcher working in the lab of your choice. At the very end of it all, you then present your research in front of a committee and you defend your thesis. And if you defend your thesis successfully, then you get your degree. And that's basically it for the PhD. Now let's talk about the MD-PhD. An MD-PhD typically consists of eight years. You start with two years of MD preclinical courses, then you go on to do four years of your PhD, and then finally you do two years of your MD clinical rotations. So you might be wondering, if an MD is four years and a PhD is six years, how does four plus six equal eight? The answer to that question is that an MD-PhD is not just an MD plus a PhD separately, it's an MD integrated with a PhD. So for example, during your first two years of MD preclinical courses, yes, you're still a full-time student taking classes, but you're also rotating in different research labs. At the same time, the classes that you're taking for your preclinical courses can fulfill some of the requirements for your PhD. So by the time you start your PhD in your third year, you know exactly which lab you want to be in, and there will be fewer classes that you need to take. Another thing you might be wondering is, why would anyone want to get an MD-PhD? And that's a very good question. The first reason is a financial incentive. If you do an MD-PhD program, your med school tuition is actually free. In fact, over the eight years, you'll get paid a graduate student stipend of $35,000 a year on average. And this, I think, is a very necessary incentive. If they came out of it with crippling debt, they would just do an MD instead. And once you emerge from the end of the tunnel, you'll have the salary of a physician in the US, which will be more than enough for financial stability. Or at least I hope. And another very important factor is that with an MD-PhD, you can have a very unique career. You can become what is called a physician scientist. On one hand, you're a physician treating patients on a regular basis and practicing the art of medicine. And on the other hand, you'll be a scientist leading your own research lab and making cool scientific discoveries. Now this kind of career is achievable with an MD alone, but it's definitely more difficult since having an MD-PhD helps you with things like getting a faculty position or securing grants from the NIH. And that's because the MD-PhD gives you that formal graduate training and that formal graduate coursework that an MD alone does not give you. So there are many reasons why somebody like me would find getting an MD-PhD to be very worthwhile. And that's basically the MD-PhD program in a nutshell. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks again, and I'll see you at the next video.